Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G and today, new antenna day. I love new antenna day. This is the Wonder One 750 because it tunes from seven to 50 megahertz. Let's get cracking. So this came in the mail today. This ought to be really fun to play with. What I was thinking of when I ordered this was, what's a good way to receive uh, maybe some SWL, maybe even do a little tiny bit of transmitting on the IC705 without having a humongous antenna. Like if I want to, you know, if I want to lay in bed and listen to the radio, I can now do that with this. Let's open it up, see what we got in here, and see what we can do with this thing. Does it do the magic? So this comes from wonderwand.co.uk. You can get this off of a bunch of different websites. I got this one on eBay. There will be some links in the description down below to hopefully help you find one of these. It is the Wonder Wand Loop Tuner. And my first impression is that this is actually really well done. Brass terminals at the top for the radiating element. Uh, tuner here, there's no detents. So this feels kind of like it's a variable capacitor and then a PL259 connector on the bottom to plug it directly into your radio. Let's crack her open. So it's got its logo on the back, Wonder Wand Antennas UK. And what do you think we're going to find in here? Obviously it's some kind of loop antenna. Yep. All right, so we have a variable capacitor and we have a toroid for an inductor, and we have the antenna connector. So this is an LC network. Let me get you an LC network, yep. Let me get you zoomed in on it. Where is it, there it is. Turn it sideways for even more real estate on screen. So it looks like they have a custom PCB inside, and they have the toroid, and then they have the capacitor. You can see how how big both of those are. The Squares on my desk mat are half inch squares, and this is slightly bigger than one of them to be able to incorporate all of this wonderful magic inside. Let's get this thing uh, on the air and see what happens. All right, so that size wound up being a lot better than I thought it was. It is a 20 inch diameter circle. This is plain copper wire. This looks like it is a ground wire out of some regular house cable. So I'm gonna guess 14 gauge. There might be a coating on it so that it doesn't rust because this is used and there's no, sorry, vertigris, not rust. There's no, uh, there's no vertigris on it. And uh, you can see that it's about the size of that window there. Not bad at all. Here's how it plugs into the radio. I actually have the Windcamp cage and the Windcamp, I want to say this is the RC2 antenna connector. So I've got a, a BNC to right angle SO239 to right angle connector to get into there. So it's right angle, right angle, right angle. That's a that's a lot of adapters, but it makes it sit up nice. And so when I'm in my operating position, I can actually see the tuner. Let's get rearranged and get this thing on the air. All right, this thing is supposed to tune from 40 meters to 50 megahertz. So from seven to 50 megahertz, 40 through six. That's an awful tall order. Let's get into 40 meters. Turn the volume up. Let's turn off Bluetooth. And that'll get the audio coming back out of the speaker for us instead of out of my headset that you guys aren't wearing. I'm going to turn this down to the FT8 frequency where we should just about always hear something. And we don't hear anything yet, but that's okay. This is going to be a very high Q antenna, which means it's going to hear a very small portion of the spectrum. Let me change the scope display to show you most of the band and then we will tune this all the way to the left to get started oh you see that noise go up that's where you want to be all 
Okay, well, let's change this over to. You can see some. <laughs> you can see some noise on the waterfall there. Let me see. Preamp is off, so that's that's just the noise itself coming straight in, and I'm not seeing any FT8 signals. Let me check the power output. So I'm plugged into shore power, so that's going to be a full 10 watts. I'm going to turn this down to 50% to get 5 watts out and test the SWR on this and see what it says. That's not bad at all. I mean, I'm not hearing anything. I'm indoors, so that could be part of the problem. But uh, that's fantastic for just that little quick effort of tuning there. Let's switch this thing over to 20 meters. And we'll do the same thing. I can almost already hear it. Okay, let's do expanded scope so we can see the whole thing. And I went right past it. Okay, I'm hearing a little bit of FT8 sounds in there, not a whole lot. Alright, same thing, we're down to 50%. Let's go in and run an SWR test. Let's change that to 13 bars. 10k steps. That's not too bad. I probably can get that a little bit better. Let me see. I moved it that way. <laughs> I went a little long. Oh, it's really hard to see on that small scope. Let's see if preamp helps at all. There you go. And so that's actually a pretty good demonstration of what Q is, what we call high Q. You can see I'm moving the knob ever so slightly. You can see the waterfall move up and down as the signal comes in and out. Like right there, I am completely out of the out of the bandwidth where I would be listening. Let's show you the SWR scan. Because it should be gone now. Yep, completely gone, off the charts. So let's go back to the expanded scope. Now let's move it in. Now let's try that. So I'm a little that way on the band. And I'm going to move this, what appears to be one dot. Yep, too far. And this is the fun of high Q antennas. Let's turn the preamp off. Maybe that's messing with my head. Getting closer. 
So there you go, and that's what you have to do. You have to keep fiddling with it and figuring it out. This display right here, it's very high in the beginning and then it gets to be a little bit better towards the end. That tells me that I'm actually tuned for higher in the band than 14074. So I would need to move this graph that way in order to get lower in the band. So I would assume with the tuning knob on this thing. All right, there we go. Now we can see the tuning knob also. So there's a little dot on here. To the left is seven, to the right is 50. And you can see little tiny dots around the outside. So let's go back to our scope display. And what I think I should do is I think I should turn it counterclockwise. And just that little tiny bit of a motion. And I'm gone. <laughs> Turn it back just a little tiny bit. And now we're getting better. Let's go just a little tiny bit back. Yeah, just little tiny motions make all the difference in the world. That's pretty good. I'm going to go just a hair clockwise. And I'm out again. That's just how narrow banded this antenna is. Perfect. I don't know if you saw the lights flashing or not, but it's interfering with my LED lights over on my workbench. So that's how that works. I'm actually starting to hear some uh, FT8 signals. Let me get reset up. If we do any decodes, I'll have some on the screen for you. FT8 T codes weren't great. Too much power. I had to dial it back a bit. This is 4%, about half a watt. When all else fails, this is CW, indoor CW. All right, so here's another way to tune this thing up. I completely spazzed on this and didn't even think to show you. Let's go in and look up where the SWR is now. I.e., we have no SWR. So let's go back to our meter screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this signal strength meter right here. And if you tune this, I'm turning the tuning knob that's up here off the, off the camera screen. Tune that to where you've got the most amount of noise. So we look three bars in the red, four. I can get about four in the red. Now let's go back and look at the SWR bar chart. That is not bad at all. So that's another way that you can tune this thing up. And as I move my hand away from and into the field, I am affecting it. So moving my hand away, change that ever so slightly. There we go. I just moved it just a little bit more down and beautiful SWR. Let's keep on playing. So this thing's essentially a mini tuner. Capacitor, inductor, connectors on both ends. Let's try some other antennas. This is a random wire. Check out these stats on Reverse Beacon Network. This is five watts Nevis style. Can this thing tune up a doublet? This is my 100 meter doublet that I made last year on the channel. That dog won't hunt. Nothing on any band at all. Probably could use a ballon to bring this thing closer in to something that this antenna tuner can match. Quick Robin, to the bat VNA. Well that about wraps this one up. Let me know if you have had any luck with a loop tuner like this in the comments down below. I would love to hear about it. This did not do the thing for me. No radio in bed. Mrs. T.O. said, radio or me? So now I'm sleeping on the couch which is closer to the antenna. There is a video right here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome.